Geralt. What do you think happened to Alvin? Frankly, I never guessed he'd bypass the Dimeridium. That would be a feat for many sorcerers. Mm-hmm. Clearly, he has enough power to teleport himself anywhere, perhaps even through time. I've got to go. Greetings, Witcher. I knew we would meet again sooner or later. Greetings, Rayla. Get your unit back? Yes. My reward for that elven slut. I told you I'd hunt her down. Teruviel? That's the one. Yavin's bitch. I handed her over to the boys, then we hung her. I've never seen anyone fight so fiercely. Decision time. A turning point. Stand aside or fight non-humans. I chose to fight. Neutrality gone. The skirmish at Murky Waters was the first of several victories for the Order. The uprising nears its end. I just hope the victory is not too costly. They say Yavin's gone wild. Chaos reigns in the Elven ranks. I see that. They're attacking without rhyme or reason. Try to keep up. We'll head to the field hospital in the center of Olvazima. I've already killed 20 Scoyotel. I wager you can't beat that. Any purpose to this excursion, apart from killing? Siegfried waits with important orders for me. Ready? You couldn't have killed more long ears than I. You forgot the ones I killed on the dike. Hmm. We'll consider it a tie then, and finish this contest later. Why are you looking at me that way? I was thinking about a certain legend. Ever heard of Raven's armor? Hmm. Where would I find an armorer capable of making Witcher's armor? The Order's armorer is excellent. He has a shop somewhere here in Old Vizima. All right, I'll find him. Shani's an angel. I swear on the eternal fire her hands work miracles. No doubt. Are you badly hurt? Merely a scratch. Shani confirmed I'd be back on my feet in no time. Looks like your wound was caused by a... hmm... giant cleaver. Swung by a berserk butcher dwarf. He cut down three brothers, but I got him. Siegfried, every child knows to stay away from berserk dwarves. You were lucky. Welcome. You've set up a hospital. Clever. Do you have a minute? I have my hands full. Besides, I'm apparently not worthy of your trust. What are you talking about? Alvin. 
You made it perfectly clear who's worthy of a witcher's trust and who's not, who you'd sleep with on occasion, and who you'd entrust with a child. But... Enough. The wounded need my help. Master, are you a witcher? I am. What is it? Master Geralt, the she-beast is murdering people. What happened? The Strigger appeared by the tower. I was sent to get a Witcher. Already five soldiers have breathed their last. Help us! Which tower? The tallest in the district. The one the Scoia'tael set ablaze. Finally, that monster is dead. Why are you here? I heard soldiers were fighting a Striga, so I came to see Vizima's famous Striga princess. Though not a Striga, still interesting. Don't get too excited, Kolkstein. I'll pay these good soldiers to take these remains to my laboratory, and later I'll... Hold it. If not a Striga, what is it? A combination of alchemy, genetics, biology... And black magic. A mutant like you. I can't wait to have a closer look. Like me? Similar. Magic and alchemy accelerates the mutation. The side effects are practically uncontrollable. It's hellishly quick and strong. To know more, I'd have to dissect it. I suspect I know who's behind this. Do you know where it came from? The soldier said it came from the Swamp Cemetery. Take this scroll. It details the formula for a powerful potion that will help if you choose to fight the Striga. Salamandra grows bolder. Accelerated mutation and experiments on humans is a dirty business. And all based on stolen witcher's secrets. Which you guarded for years without succumbing to any of these temptations. Congratulations. All right, but what about this Striga? If the soldiers were wrong... I heard rumors of certain events in the swamp. What rumors? Be quick. They say a corpse was found at the old chapel there, torn open. The large intestine stretched to its full one and a half meters. All six and a half meters of the small intestine wrapped around... That's fine. Thanks. What happened with the Striga? False alarm. Some mutant was attacking the soldiers. Need help? No more than anyone else. Let me decide. Shani. You seem to be in one piece. Not worried about Knights of the Order or Elves showing up? They both think you're treating the enemy. For me, they aren't enemies, just wounded. In this hospital, we make no racial or political distinctions. I came to understand that at Brenna. Rusty treated Nilfgaardians and our own, even shielded a patient with his own body when Elves showed up. If they come here, I hope I have the courage to protect my patients. I'm sure you will. Though I'd rather you escaped. Nice to hear. Why are you telling me this? What's that sound? Treating humans, I see. We wound them so they'll die. And you're treating them. How illogical and contrary to our interests. Out of my hospital! Murder each other to your heart's content in the street, but don't show your faces here. Shani, watch out! Kill the Dwan! I shall- Step. Yeah. 
will be your last. to slay the wounded. How can anyone fall so low? I've seen worse in town. Thank you. On behalf of all the patients. They shouldn't bother you anymore. See you later. Farewell. Come on, bastards! I'll cut your balls off! Wait! History repeats itself. But this time we'll cut off more than your hand. Try it, Elvin Hag. I am White Rayla. I don't fear you, Elvin Sadists. Fury! Stop them! I could have managed, but thanks. Don't mention it. Come, we'll speak where it's safer. We must attack the barricade and hold it until reinforcements arrive. Retreat, and the Scoyatel will control almost all of old Vizima. In a moment, I must speak to Rayla. As a warrior, you're almost ideal. Almost? Yes, almost. There may be no man who can defeat you, but a female. I don't fight women. You killed Renfrey. Who's Renfrey? The very reason you're called the Butcher of Blaviken. The only woman you ever raised your sword against. Rumor is you plowed her first. I'm no knight in shining armor. Sure you are. You're incapable of fighting women. I'll prove it. No weapons. I doubt you can take me. And you can have me if you win. Hold on. Defend yourself, you pussy. You're mad. <sighs> I want to see corpses. Victory! Rayla is trapped at the barricade. We must help her. Let's move. We'll flank them! Attack! <laughs> Secured. We must break through the barricade. What then? We must get to the other flank. To Rayla. Attack. Fuck 
fucking good you're here. This place is going to hell. On my honor. That's no way for a lady to speak. Shut up, Tin Man. This is their last line of defense. Onward! After you, my lady. I shall cut you down. <laughs> No knight, but your sword's welcome. Done! The barricade is ours! Victory! Rayla, wait! A fine warrior. May the eternal fire illuminate her soul. Amen. A great loss for the Order. I must inform the Grand Master. He was last seen near the Swamp Cemetery. I'm headed that way. We should go immediately. What now? I'll take care of the Striga. Her lair is somewhere around here. Hmm. I don't know if I can help you with fierce fighting in that area. The Grand Master is to command the offensive personally. I may be summoned shortly. I'll manage. I'll escort you, at least part of the way through the swamps. Witcher, are you all right? You arrived just in time. I am Jacques de Aldersburg, Grand Master of the Order of the Flaming Rose. Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. I have heard much about you and know of your deeds from a very trustworthy source. Explain, please. <laughs> Geralt of Rivia asking me for explanations. He who so generously lavishes his wisdom upon others. Forgive me for not laughing. I just didn't get the joke. I don't intend to explain. Unlike you, I am one to act. I want to laugh when I recall your pseudo-philosophical reflections. Witcher, only time can teach us. Only with perspective can one understand what is right. Who is human? Who a monster? What is evil? And how to overcome it? I'm in no mood to guess. So why don't you just tell me what made you so bitter? Otherwise, we should part. Forgive me, I can get irritable. Know they sometimes tell me of your deeds, 
And though I don't approve of them all, I'm always genuinely interested to hear them. And how did I earn the interest of the Grand Master of the Order of the Flaming Rose? I like to know what goes on in Temeria. It helps me appear in the right place at the right time. Mm-hmm. Incidentally, thanks for your help. Though you're not human, every knight's duty is to aid those in need. An element of our vocation. Sounds lovely. Do you know anything about the Order? The Order is an idea. From its foundations to its pinnacle. Our mission. Our vision. Our objective is a new world. A new order that will come after the White Frost. A world in which all will get what they merit, not by birth or through connections. A world where the strong help the weak, and crime is duly punished. A world of clear principles and ideals. You must know anyone can join, be they peasant, merchant, even witcher. Knights collect no payment, and are promoted for great deeds. That's an ideal worth fighting for. I shall remember those words. Siegfried, fall in. We need your strength and tactical wit. Yes, sir. Don't let me keep you, but I don't like to owe favors. You've paid your debt. I don't understand. You owe me nothing. Our rest is over. Fall in. Farewell. I'm going to Vizima with the Grand Master. I'll come and help as soon as I can. See ya. Witcher Gerard? Yes? Is it true you have access to Falkes Court? The King has hired me. No matter. I only wondered if you met my charming cousin Antoinette. I did. Here's your gold. Many thanks. Greetings, Mr. Geralt. Why are you here? A revolt rages in Vizima. People killing each other. I'm not interested. The druids take in the innocent. I help them and provide protection. Can I be useful? They say deadly monsters have made their lair near the crypt in the swamp. Know anything more? People speak of a bat-like creature and a female vampire. Could you look into it? What else can you tell me? Ask, Witcher. You protect exiles? I do. Love your neighbor. You worship the eternal fire? Not really. I'm cautious though, and a few good deeds won't hurt. Farewell. Witcher, I must speak with you. Yes? You were at Fortest Castle recently. True. Did my, uh, cousine Antoinette have anything for me? Indeed. I have your gold. Ah, many thanks. Hmm. At the last. Antoinette certainly took her time. Where is my gold? Who are you? Antoinette's cousin. You must be her messenger. Is that how you greet all strangers? Oh, enough games. No one normal ventures into the swamp these days. Where is my gold? Here. Thanks. Finally, I can return home. They burned my Not house down. That? Destroyed all my property. What shall I do? They burned my house down. Destroyed yes. all my property. What shall I do? Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. I'm for some time now. Renowned fist fighter. 
They say you have no name. Call me Zdenek for now. You don't look like a famous boxer. So you say? Care to challenge me? Good guess. Ready to fight? Always. Swing away then. Congratulations! Only a few have ever beaten me. A few? They said you were undefeated. Only because I reserve the right for a rematch each time. None has beaten me twice. <sighs> Another time, I'm tired. Sir, have you seen my son? He has straw-colored hair, freckles on his nose, a child, twelve winters to him. Sorry, I haven't. I've been burning fires here to lead him through the mists. Oh, my dear son. I hope you find him. I seek the Striga that has its lair somewhere around here. Sir, you see that old church on the hill? The Striga lives in the crypt. She awakes at night and roams about in search of blood. She leaves you alone? Once she came for me, I didn't run, for I light this fire to guide my son through the night. The monster hesitated, then ran on. Since then, she's avoided me. Interesting. But I saw her catch a man once. Horrifying. Tell me. What did I do? I've set my neighbors home ablaze and cut them to bits. I've decided to flee the city. They tried to draft me into the army. Luckily, King Foltest has returned. He'll put those non-humans back on their leashes. Rightly so. Know what I'll tell you? Greetings, Geralt. 
Foltis asked me to check on your progress. Trust is fundamental. True, but this particular monster is his daughter. Why are you here? Foltis well knows someone meddled with the curse. He cannot believe Ada turned into a beast by herself. The crypt may hide evidence. Foltest asks that you search the sarcophagus where the princess sleeps. Surrender any evidence you find. I'll fulfill the king's order. Now show me to the princess. Follow me. The gate is locked. First resolve the problem with the beastie. You understand. Safety precautions.
once more, the skull is broken. It's over. You're well again. Geralt! Don't worry. You're safe. I'll take you home. Oh, my hands! They're covered in blood! I... killed... murdered so many people! Oh. It wasn't your fault. Don't think about that. It's behind you. I remember. Through a fog. It was important. I concealed something in the sarcophagus. You must see it. All right, I will. Hold me, Geralt. I feel so cold. It's this crypt. We should go. You'll feel better outside. And... Shutting me in that crypt. Nice gesture, Velorad. Sorry, which, uh, King's orders? The princess is freed. Ada, Velorad will take you home. Which, uh, second time I underestimated you. Third time's a charm. Faltus gave me something for you in the event that you survived. This is the devil, a Zerikanian scimitar. The legends say it was tempered in dragon's blood. Someone induced the princess's transformation into a striga. I have proof. Where? The king wanted to be the first to know. Fine. Is that all? The king said if you want to cure the disease, you must go to the old manor. He uh, said you would understand. I do. Farewell. Farewell, Witcher. Geralt. Do you feel all right? Yes. Better. I need to ask you about Salamandra. Oh, Geralt. That terrible professor. It's his fault. He tricked me, promised me power and glory. I haven't seen any Salamandra since he was killed. The professor couldn't have created those mutants. Did he ever mention a mage? He came here once with this repulsive man, Abdul or something. The professor called him a powerful sorcerer. That's all I know. Know where I might find him? Unfortunately not. Quite some time, Witcher. Word had it the princess put a large bounty on your head. I'm relieved you didn't take that on. If I'd known where to look, who knows? Have to earn my bread somehow. I know. It's old news now, but I know I'll get another chance. Enough about that. I've got some business. Yes. Antoinette sent me. How many little cousins did you find? Three. Good work. One of the salamanders has an alchemical manual on him. Take it. Farewell. Wait a moment. What is it? Thanks. Don't mention it. Greetings, sir. Greetings. White Rayla claims you make the best suits of armor in town. Ah, White Rayla. May the eternal fire guide her fighting arm. You must be a friend. Do you know the tale of Raven's armor? Of course. Can you reforge it? Not so fast. Its maker used vile magic. Besides, the Spalder, Rerebrace, and Gauntlet alone remain. Hmm. But, if you bring me the components, I could... What will you need? 
The remaining parts of Raven's suit, plus the armor it inspired, that of Graf Cobus Reuter. The Graf fell at Brenna and was buried in the Swamp Cemetery. I'll bring you Cobus Reuter's suit of armor. What else? I can replace Elven songs with prayers to the Eternal Fire, but you must bring me both the notes of an Elven Songmaster and the Litany of the Sacred Flame. I can find the Elven Minstrel in the Swamp Cemetery. How about the Litany? St. Gregory's bones rest in the old seat of the Supreme and Sacred Inquisition, long forgotten and locked shut. Perhaps the Saint's legend will aid you. I'm listening. Heretics killed St. Gregory, an Inquisitor, to avenge the kin purified with the Eternal Fire. Gregory awaited them in the temple, armed with his words of faith and an axe named Meat Cutter. Hmm. The mob twice assaulted the saint, like a wailing wind, but he did not bow. When the saint spoke the litany, the eternal fire turned the vile heretics to ash. Gregory then sealed himself inside the temple and expired from his wounds. The legend contains the clue to opening the temple door. I would try various element-based spells. I'll try. I hear sounds behind this wall. There must be something inside. Oh! The eternal fire must have sent you, Master. Why are you here, good man? I seek the grave of Raven, the great warrior. They say it contains vast treasures. Find anything? Horrid monsters attacked, then stones fell, trapping me. Were it not for you, sir. Hurry while the path is clear. I'll see about those monsters. Ready to fight? Always. Swing away, then. My tool! Where's my tool? Right here in my hand, I'm afraid. Ah, keep it! You beat me a second time! A true fist! Not surprising. You're pretty quick. How can I help? Here, the components you asked for. Eternal fire! I shall forge a sacred suit of armor. Thanks. When will it be ready? Return tomorrow. Sir, help someone who suffered due to war. Thank you. I'll share what I know about Garkanes. How can I help? Is the armor ready? Indeed. Behold this masterpiece. Take care not to scratch it too much in battle. Thank you. A pure pleasure. Thank you. Farewell. 